In the midst of this teapot-shaped country, Zimbabwe, lived Mirurai Chikomba. He was the son of the mighty Shona king, Mambo Chikomba. He was born colorblind and none of his family members understood his condition. Even the community was puzzled to realize that such a bizarre congenital condition exists and especially on a child of royal blood. Despite being colorblind Mirurai was born for a special purpose, to be a leader of his father's kingdom. The boy was taught how to hunt, catch fish with nets, make soapstone carvings and to wrestle by his father. They would go out into the bushes on plain grounds and his father would act as his sparring partner during wrestling training. One resting day, Wednesday slash cheesy in Shona culture, Merari went out with his father, the king, for their regular wrestling sessions. A gang of four terrorists dressed in camouflage clothing made out of leaves attacked them. They got ambushed whilst unarmed and the terrorists managed to kill the king and left Merari half dead. When Merari woke up a few minutes later, he was lying parallel to his father. He crawled towards him so as to check if he is still alive. His vision had become phantasmagorical and he saw a man who looked albino to him from a distance due to his color blindness. He couldn't recognize the man because he hadn't seen a man of such a skin color before. He checked his father's pulse and unfortunately his pure soul had escaped and left a corpse behind. Merari couldn't believe that his father left for the heavens a few days before his 18th birthday. He wept bitterly with all his might whilst holding his deceased father's right hand. He took off his father's golden ring and he slotted it into his leather pouch. The strange man he saw was Hassan al-Fatiha, a Saudi Arabian spy of Arabic descent. Al-Fatiha was sent to kill the Shona king so as to siphon out precious minerals that this kingdom possessed. It was time for Merari to take over his late father's throne to become the Shona Sultan. His father's sister Moona got into his way and protested against the community elder's decision to enact Merari as king. She claimed he was still young and immature to be the leader of the kingdom and the people will not accept a bizarre child as their leader. She fought with all her power and she even poisoned the queen with the intention of poisoning Merari. The queen lost her sight and her sense of smell for good as a result of this toxic poison. The wise man of the kingdom was invited to the palace to give an explanation of all these misfortunes. He spoke in front of the elders council confidently and he mentioned that it's a sign which entails that foreign authorities have invaded the kingdom and they want to take over it using military force. He also mentioned about a very close relative who is very power hungry, who is supposed to reform immediately before a curse is cast upon her. The Arabic spy and his Arabic army had managed to infiltrate into the kingdom's system through the king's greedy sister Moana. The elders went on to crown Merari king of the Shona. On his inauguration day, an assassination attempt on Merari was staged by one of the Arabic soldiers but it failed. This occurrence shook the kingdom and everyone got into a state of confusion. The day after this assassination, the new Shona king assembled his army for war against the invaders. The invaders had a lot of inside men in the Shona army who leaked classified information. This helped the Arabs to capture the young king before the war began. They tortured him severely and tried to convince him to give them mining rights in his kingdom or else they would kill his family and take over the kingdom. He recalled every wrestling moment with his father while sitting on the electrical chair. He resisted and he managed to free himself and he fought his way to freedom. Merari emerged victorious after managing to steal all the weapons from the Arab mercenary where he was held hostage and he defeated the so-called invaders. They were banished from the kingdom and they were held as kingdom prisoners along with Ant Moona the traitor who got exposed by the Arabic spy. The kingdom regained its stability that had been disturbed over the past weeks. Merari ruled as the sultan of the Shona kingdom with pride up until he grew up into a family man. The end.